gonna be funky. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, to the Handful Podcast. I'm your host, Hassan, and I'm joined by my wonderful co-hosts. Hi, my name is Joanna. Hi, I'm Jet. And I'm Bilani. So, today is our first episode of 2024. We're in the brand new year. Give it a round of applause, guys. Come yeah! On. So, uh, this year has already started off with crazy, crazy events, and... A lot of crazy things, but first I want to go around saying, uh, ask me how everyone's Christmas went. Um, anyone want to start us off? Like, what did they do for Christmas or over their winter break? Um, honestly, I got really sick over the break, so I uh-huh. couldn't. It was probably the worst holidays I've ever had, so I, I was just sick in bed. I think most people have gotten sick over the break. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of people did. I didn't. I had a fire break. Oh, you did? What'd yeah. You, what did you do, Jack? Let's hear it. I was in Arizona. Arizona. Shout out right. AZ. It was it was crazy. I was. Dylan. Um, I just had, I spent time with my family. Oh, that's nice. That's always nice. Anyone have uh, anyone get any special Christmas gifts or anything crazy? Honestly, I just got money. I got some cool stuff. That's cool. I got, you a, I got some books. I what got kind a of book books? chain. Uh, I got a, I got a, like a rock. It was, a, I got a one bill. I got like a one million year old rock. <laughs> That's that pretty. Was, that was pretty cool. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, me personally, I don't celebrate Christmas, but I mean, it was nice. Uh, mm-hmm. it was uh, mostly relaxing having a break from school and all everything. And uh, basically, yeah, that's how everyone's Christmas went. Uh, oh, yeah. So, moving on to the actual show, we have a bunch of things to talk about. Crazy! First and foremost, I know Joanna and Dylani wanted to talk about the Gypsy Rose case and everything that's going on. Free my girl! (laughs) If you guys don't mind, uh, why don't you fill the viewers in? What's going on? Yeah, uh, Gypsy Rose, she was just released back, I think, in right after christmas mm-hmm. i think december 27th yep. and uh sh- her case was like really popular because um she was known because her mom had munchausen syndrome by proxy so uh she would uh extend out <laughs> diseases to her and like to family members and then um everybody thought that gypsy was sick mm-hmm. but in reality she wasn't and she ended up killing her mom with her boyfriend crazy mm-hmm. yeah and she was supposed to be convicted for 10 years but ended up getting early in parole i think she was seven years eight years Damn. Yeah. she was seven or eight years in and she got released now and it's like yeah. a big thing because a lot of people believe that she should have been out earlier yeah it is interesting because there are uh, many sides to the story but from what I've been hearing mm-hmm. that uh, basically it was said that her mother bas- said uh, Gypsy Rose, her daughter, at, was also like couldn't walk, had autism, mm-hmm. leukemia. Yeah. Turns out she had none of that and she was just using her own daughter for uh, money and then getting sympathy from other people and bringing in more money. That's evil. That's it is evil. plain evil. Uh, that we can't really entirely say Gypsy Rose is in the clear either, cause again, she did kill her. Yeah, murder is murder. Murder is crazy, but and uh, her her boyfriend go to John. Uh, his story is also a bit weird, cause he uh, he's been diagnosed with autism, and when he was being interviewed in one of, not interviewed but like interrogated. But when the officers, uh, the, he told the officer, basically, he has two sides. Yeah, His evil know. side wanted to kill uh, Gypsy's mother, but he didn't want to. And then they tweeted, his evil side tweeted all those crazy tweets. Yeah, those. I uh, killed her! I killed her, and I did that was crazy. bad things are done. 
it is a damn, crazy Damn, it's so sad. That's so sad that they like... Oh, man. Because it's sad that people who obviously have either been like mentally abused mm-hmm. or just have mental problems get themselves locked in those situations and then end up in prison. Yeah. Kind of clueless too. Like, that's, cr- that's crazy. What do you guys think? Do you guys think like she should have been released early or like the time she served kind of validates what she also did? Like, yeah, we were talking about this earlier because we kind of had different opinions. Like, I thought she should have been released now, uh-huh. but like she believed that she should have like waited those two more years in prison. The two more years, I feel like she should have like spent them in prison because also like now that she's out, it's like weird. Because when people come out of prison, like, yeah. especially after doing something like that, they don't get, like, as much attention as she does. Right now, people are, like, idolizing her and stuff like no, that. No, for real. Yeah. So, I feel like it's just, like, a weird situation to be in, especially after everything that she did. That is, yeah. that is like, a uh, big thing, understanding. Uh, I don't know. I think the time she spent is reasonable. Those two years, w- I guess, would have been not much again prison is prison mm-hmm. i'm not trying to like say anything uh if sh- there was uh if she had done this in a legal way where like she went to officers or like took legal action against her own mother i feel like that would have been a better approach than actually murdering her own mother uh she would have avoided jail time and then on top of that i think people were actually like genuinely sympathize her and you wouldn't have like two sides of this where, oh, you don't know who's in the right and who's in the wrong. But also, like, low-key, mm-hmm. her mom had it coming. I like, guess, Low-key, yeah. like, she she messed around and found out, if you get what I mean. <laughs> that is, that is, yeah. Playing with pretty much. Uh, and you can't really say, t- we can't really, like, be uh, judges on this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then again, our opinion does kind of, like, matter. Because when I kept putting myself in her position, like, she went through so much abuse. Yeah. And, like, she didn't know her own age. And, but like, she, she just, like, it was so weird because she had, like, a mentality of, like, a little girl. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is weird, but. Also, um, like, how she, like, she puts on, like, I think it's so crazy. Like, she been doing, she got messed up. She got messed up with everything. The killing prison, her mom. And then she came out of prison. She like, what's good, guys? That's How y'all awesome. doing? We were just talking about that too. And I was crazy. like, wow. She, cr- yeah, like, 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 props to you, but like, damn, you killed your mom. Like, that's, I would not be acting like that if I killed my mom. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I'd be like all depressed and stuff, with my hair over my eyes and stuff. Like, so, I mean, it is what it is, but uh, we're just going to have to wait and see, like, what goes on with Gypsy Rose. Is she going to actually be able to fix herself, relive with society, or is this always going to be something that's part of her? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, moving on with our next topic, the Golden Globe Awards. Bro. A lot of crazy things happen. First things first. Uh, Crazy. I want to say, I think Joe Coy is not a good host. Dude, that was Terrible. crazy. I was reading about that. I didn't even watch it, but I, I watched, like, the highlights. I also watched uh, most of the highlights. When did they When did they think of getting Joe Coy? Uh, it was funny because uh, one of his jokes was, like, oh, uh, tw- congratulations on moving to 2024. I think one of my New Year's resolution is, like, finishing Oppenheimer. The entire room was silent, and they're all kind of, like, steaming at and looking at him. And Damn. it was just funny. That's funny as hell to me. Like, w- if I was watching that at home, like, in the moment, I would be laughing out loud. Because, like, bro. It's not the joke that's funny. It's just, like, the reaction. reaction. The reaction is hilarious. Yeah, I, I felt bad for him because, like, he was just laughing at his own jokes. And then the whole yeah. thing was quiet. I don't feel bad for him. That Barbie joke was crazy. <laughs> what was the Barbie joke? Oh, yeah, that was a crazy. Yeah. He was just talking about her boobs. But oh. Man. <laughs> I think Ricky uh, Gervais was actually... One of the best hosts uh, for uh, any of the shows, the Golden Globes and Oscars. He's genuinely hilarious, and he doesn't poke funny. fun at movies. He does it with, like, a good setup, and then it's genuinely funny. I think the joke about Oppenheimer was not really necessary because that movie, a lot of hard work went into it. Yeah. Uh, Christopher Nolan finally got his first Glo- Golden Globe Award. 
Oh yeah. The last time he got it was on behalf of Heath Ledger on um, The Dark Knight, which was in uh, 2008, I believe. And it's just crazy. Oppenheimer came home with uh, five awards. Do you think um, it has a movie it has a chance for any Oscars? Yeah, if it won five awards, that's that's five awards is one Oscar. Hmm. Uh, anything else you guys thought about the Golden Globe Awards? Shout out the bear. Uh, yep. Shout out the bear. Bear, wa- the bear also won a lot of a uh, couple of awards. That was uh, my favorite show for like all of summer. All of summer was the bear. Now I'm on to Atlanta, but mm. the bear was great. I believe it won the award for best uh cast ensemble. Yeah. And uh, I think it was like best comedy show or like best uh, dramatized comedy show. Yeah, it's it's. I don't know if it's a comedy. It's funny. Like, some aspects of it really do make me laugh. Mm-hmm. But it's just like, th- half of the show, you're just going, damn. Mm-hmm. Dang. An actor who's really been on the rise, and like, I mean, like, a really, really steep rise, is uh, Jeremy Allen White. Man. He is doing a He's lot doing of crazy a lot of stuff. He's getting a lot of fame. Uh, do you? I think he generally uh, deserves all the fame he's getting. He's actually, yeah, he's uh, I've seen actor. his work. He's a good actor. I love him, but I can't, I can't get over it. Get over what, get Jack? Over, I can't get over the PTSD I have with him. You also want to... For uh, one whole, it was like a whole week. It you, was a whole week of seeing this everywhere I went, Hassan. I think I know what you're talking about. You, you want to you wanna just let it out? Yeah. All the right. Jeremy Allen White, Calvin Klein... Commercials and ads, <laughs> bro. It is the craziest thing I saw today too. Mm-hmm. I was saw, I was watching like YouTube. I was watching like nature shows, and then it just pops up, and I always watch it because it makes me laugh. But I'm like, bro, if I see it again, and it's like him, like he's got clothes on. He's got a denim jacket, a shirt, pants, socks, and shoes. The next thing you know, he's running up an apartment complex. Mm-hmm. Gets on the roof. Takes his shirt off. Okay, I feel you. Showing off the little Calvin Klein logo. Then takes everything else except for his underwear off. And then the next shot is him doing like a little jump or like something like that. And the it's it's not showing anything but the underwear. <laughs> okay. And I was just like, bro. So, bro. Uh, viewers at home, if you're a little confused. Jeremy Allen White basically did a commercial for Calvin Klein. It's and everywhere. The way uh, it's everywhere. J- Jack uh, explained it is pretty accurate. I mean, it's, it's, it, it is, that's exactly what it's, went it's, down. it's everywhere, and I'm I, I'm not a fan. Did I'm anyone like, else see the commercial? Because <laughs> I, I did it until Jack said it. I saw it while I was watching uh, videos of the Golden Globes because I just saw how like a lot of the interviewers mm-hmm. were bringing it up to him when they were interviewing him. He was just so uncomfortable by the whole thing. Like, they kept asking him about it. And he was like, oh, I don't like, like, they asked, Are, do you feel uncomfortable about it? And he was like, yeah. But then everybody just kept pressing on. Oh. I saw that, too. And they were also asking, like, his friends and co Yeah. And, co- and then oh they man. were like, he's my co-worker. Uh, like, I have, like, no opinion about this. That's like, crazy. It, it was something that would make them all uncomfortable. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm guessing, like, this is something, like, he didn't want to do or, like, didn't know it was going to turn and out like this. everywhere. Yeah. It's, it's literally, like, everywhere. I was in New York on Saturday, mm-hmm. and it was on every street. I kind of feel bad for him now. <laughs> it's like, no, it's yeah. Kinda, Free my boy. Bad. Free my boy for his Calvin Klein sins. He did what he had. Yeah, he, he, he had to make it for commercial. He didn't. He, he did it for the dough. Yeah, he didn't probably know what was going on. Hassan, would you do a Calvin Klein commercial? Definitely no. I do it. I do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Why like, would you do it? Cause I like Calvin Klein. That's comfy. I would wear. I wouldn't like. <laughs> I wouldn't have my whole stuff out. But like, I'd be wearing some Calvin Klein jeans and like okay. a little name showing, and then like a a, a white Fita. That's it though. Nothing crazy. I wouldn't be butt naked <laughs> in a commercial like Jeremy Allen White did. Mm. That takes it takes a lot it of takes confidence. It takes cojones, man. Mm-hmm. So, uh, there's also another crazy thing happening right now, and it's with Jeffrey Epstein and his whole list <laughs> that's been coming out. And, oh, my God, the amount of... People just Stephen Hawkins, Ste- especially Stephen Hawkins, Oprah, being on 
Stephen. So basically, uh, if you didn't know, you probably do. He didn't kill himself. Uh, Stephen Hawking was uh, on Jeremy on Jeffrey Epstein's list, and it's just crazy because in one of um, during in one of the documents that were released, it was said that he liked uh, watching uh, short people basically solve uh, really complex problems on uh, boards they can't reach, which was like weird and I think really uncomfortable. Any other names you guys were shocked at when you saw on the list? My one girl. What's her name? Hillary. Mariah Campbell. Oh, my God. That yeah. ruined everything for me. And it was crazy because before it even got released, she posted a story on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, oh, like talking about like um, fake rumors and stuff and to like be at your peace. And like when she put that on her story, like everyone just knew that she was going to be on the list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It kind of, I guess it kind of hurts because uh, a lot of good actors were also on it. I believe Jim Carrey's name was on it. Damn. And, and a lot of people were like, "Nah, not Jim Carrey. It can't be. He can't be. He's the goat. He can't but be I mean, if you look at it, a lot, a lot of people have been saying it's kind of lining up with what he was saying a while ago, where he was like talking about Illuminati. Oh. See, uh, I think it was just him trying to like convey a message to the world, like, "Oh, uh, Jeffrey Epstein is like." hiding something from the world and there's a lot deeper things that's going on than what you're seeing he definitely was hanging out with aliens and stuff like that <laughs> i mean chilling could be you never know yeah. uh it was horrible there were uh, it was a lot of other actors uh, uh actors actresses and named on there and it just kind of hurts to see like on your rise of stardom and like at, or at your peak you do something stupid like this. Yeah. How did how, how what did Jeffrey Epstein do? So basically, if you guys don't know, Jeffrey Epstein was charged of human sex trafficking. And, oh yeah. Uh, no, but what did he what did he do like before that? I like, believe he I believe he was a uh, famous like um, what's the word? You know when you're like friends with a lot of celebrities. Yeah. Basically like that. Something uh, like that. Like yeah, a lot of celebrities yeah. know uh, know that you're like that guy, that one guy who knows everyone. Damn, that sucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. I know a lot of people are also shocked because the main person a lot of people thought was gonna be there was Donald Trump, mm-hmm. and he ended up not being on the list. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they said Bill Clinton was on the list. Oh yeah, that's uh, that was what's even crazier. Uh, Bill Clinton was on the list, and Trump was not. I wonder. The people who attended Jeffrey Epstein's island, do you think they knew what th- was going to be on there, or like they just in, were went there because they were invited? Because I feel like some some, the act- some people knew. Some most people, I think, definitely knew, most and then some knew. people, I'd say, I just don't want my. You think you think Oprah there. knew? You think Oprah knew? Let's keep let's let's keep it a buck. You think he knew? She knew. If we're keeping it a buck, I think she knew. She knew. She, I, I, th- think she I knew. think she knew. I was just waiting to hear what everyone. I want to say, like, I, I don't think Jim Carrey knew. <laughs> like, I just I don't want my think. boy to be free. Free my boy, Jim Carrey. <laughs> free Jeffrey, but not not Jeffrey Epstein. I'm talking about Young Thug. <laughs> oh, yeah. Free Thug. Is he uh, free? I um, I don't think so, no. Damn. Free Thug. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, talking about Free Thug, have you guys seen the video of um, the man um, uh, during the court? Meeting, yeah. Yep. Damn, the Zoom. Yeah. Uh, n- no, the one. Have you seen the video where uh, the guy basically jumps over? Oh over yeah, the, uh, that's just, that was drug. crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. Just I believe on Monday, he reappeared in court with Bro, the same yeah. judge, and they like had like chains, and chains stuff on, on him and a muzzle like, on him. I was like, oh man, it, kind of, it was kind of sad to see. I'm not gonna lie. I guess. Yeah. Uh, but he was also but like he messed around and found out. Yeah. yeah. What's even worse is like people were saying, "Oh, he he was, he he definitely wasn't the right because the judge wasn't hearing him out." But then y- you start hearing all the charges he was indicted for, and then it's like, uh, "What was he indicted for? Extortion, drug, uh, drug, uh, basically, uh, illegal drug trafficking, 
weapons dealing, and uh, it's, I think it's something around sex trafficking. But I think, oh I think man. the judge only gave him four years too, which is like after doing That's all the that, then like I he's feel like get that. More yeah, I feel he, like did he do sex trafficking? I'm not a hundred percent sure. Again, because if he just charges. did like if he just sold like guns and drugs, that'd be like. Uh, it is. Uh, I uh, okay. it is still illegal, but I, I believe, uh, like Darlene, you were saying. You said four years. Yeah. I believe that's still, like, really, really watering down what he sh- really sh- was going to get, which I believe is just alone for, like, um, illegal drug uh, buying and trading is, I think, five, six years in most states. Wow. Damn. So th- is if, he did, if he did sex trafficking, he's a horrible person, though. Mm-hmm. That's fucking disgusting. Uh. That's basically what Jeffrey Epstein was also uh, charged with and Yuck. infamous for. Yuck. Gross man. Mm-hmm. So, anyone have, any, before we wrap up this sh- episode, anyone have, like, 2024 ideas, anything they want to get out of the way or try to accomplish this year? Free, free, free Jeremy Allen White from all cuffs and crime. <laughs> That's what I want. Yeah, he definitely needs to be free from that ideology. Uh People have been just berating him for no reason. Anything you guys want to add, talk about? Get outside. Eat good food. Mm-hmm. Live life to the fullest. Talk to people. Hang out with your friends. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. I think, I think that <laughs> basically wraps up today's episode, yeah. guys. Uh, it has been... Uh, I've been your host, Hassan, <laughs> my wonderful co-host, Joanna, Jack, and Darlene, yeah. and our great cameraman, Anthony, who is a little bit under the weather. Woo! We love you, Anthony! Yeah, so everyone stay safe at home. Uh, basically, don't do f- anything that uh, celebrities are doing, don't, like Jeffrey don't, Epstein. Don't Jeffrey do Rose, what please don't anyone is doing. Don't kill your mom. Don't, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't <that's> traffic <laughs> people. <laughs> don't don't buy an island. And don't, don't buy an island. Don't invite Oprah on it. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We have been the Handful Podcast. Until next time. Mwah.